so I'm on the golf course still and oh yeah you can't really see it but like where I am pointing goes up towards Stirling Wreck and it's dark so trust me it's a path that's not very well seen you have to kind of do it during the day unless you've got a torch and you can kind of surprisingly quite do it quite well but I ain't got a torch as you can see uh, plus as well the bit at the top and I kind of forgot actually the like little bit of middle ground before I get into the wreck does get occupied quite a lot with people hanging around so I kind of realized during the day what's happened uh, like I don't know something's been smashed or some bit of graffiti's been done or whatever you just don't know um, so I've walked the bottom bit of the golf course as far as I can go and then I've pretty much walked up and I'm now on to the other side of the golf course and I actually can't remember the last time I was on the golf course but I think knowing now that if it's like this because it just they just shut the they shut the golf course off to the public because it's too dark it makes sense to come up with the dogs and the light have the lights on of course and then they can have a little play around you can do like a full lap of the of the golf course if if you can of course I might walk on this bit because it's a bit flatter and with how golf courses work you have the fairways so the fairways tend to be easier to walk on because they've got less grass <sighs> you feel really quite nice and hidden like it's really nice actually just to I mean, t t the, the day I've had today at work it has just been manic and like really really busy and I'm like kind of thinking to myself like I'm going to probably go out this evening and go somewhere that's going to be dead. Like, no one around. Like, absolutely no one. And in my head, that's kind of why I thought about Jagger Green. But then things happen, you don't go that way. But then I saw the golf course and I saw that the barrier was up and there was no one around. I'm like, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's just go on the golf course, do a lap and then walk back down uh, the hill towards what do you call it West Vale <laughs> forgot the area then forgot the area that I live in and I tell you something that's really cool as well like people watch my videos and they say this that how they discovered me and <laughs> how they discovered me how they discovered what they watched and I'm like a lot of people say like subscribe to your channel if you don't want to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos then fine that's totally fine that is totally fine i mean think i think god think to myself like how many people watch my channel but aren't subscribed could i give a shit not really i, mean, I couldn't care less as long as you have entertainment from what i've put up then that's the whole point and the thing is the more you watch somebody on YouTube even if you're not subscribed it kind of goes into the algorithm thinking oh this person watches Allier or uh, I don't know Syndicate for example more or even that one to insert the one to return it for example and it's like oh Jamie watches these people we're gonna recommend watch this this, these channels and you might not be subscribed to them but yeah they come up because it's the it fits it comes up with the algorithm that oh Jamie watches these people we're going to recommend these channels and maybe some that are a bit similar and the thing is I'm going to mention ones we turn up again it's like it comes up with top it comes up with a topic for a video and then focuses on it and then the video is gonna be however long it is like I just prefer to do this just to go out and 
to be able to film in one go because you tend to can't you can't really nowadays film in one go anymore without someone getting pissed off so by being on an open space on your own in the middle of a field in the dark you're kind of increasing your chances of not being pissed off with yourself or someone else I just realised I'm walking slow, slightly lower down which is kind of what I'm trying to do There's no point filming snippets on the field here because there's just there's just no point whatsoever. It was it's only really when I get back to the the how the, the the clubhouse and it's light lit up then to start film again. Filming again. So it's cool like to put stuff up and be like people are like, oh you I found you from this and like I watched because of that or whatever. And do I actually have other ideas for days out planned? Yeah, I do. I think my next idea, even though it's not a big place, is, Ho is Oxenhope. So you get the bus from Hebden Bridge, and it's a Howarth, you get it, it goes to Keithley, but you get off at Oxenhope. And that's my next idea. It's not a big place, not at all. But I think it might be idea possible to walk from there to Howarth and then get the bus back from Howarth. Potentially I might do that in in the future. That might be a not so bad idea. Get off at Oxenhope, walk around Oxenhope, walk to Howarth and do that. Where am I gonna go down? Oh so I can't go that way. I need to go this way. Because there's a bit of a, a dredging thing here at the moment, like a bit of a river to like stop like drainage oh here I need to go down here on camera it comes up it's pitch black but in reality it's, my eyes are getting quite adjusted to the dark so it's nice just to have done a full loop of the golf course with no one to say what you're doing what you're doing why you're doing it nice Nice to have a golf course to yourself. So I mean, you don't really get... You could say that a lot during COVID because no one was coming out to play golf because of COVID. So you could just come out and go on the field all the time. Anyway, going to wrap up the video. Um, yeah, getting towards the clubhouse here and then just make my way back towards... The main road go down towards West Rail. Oh god, that was a bit of a drop. Thanks for watching for now. And um goodbye.